Hi and welcome to my short little video where I will compare the Spectrum functionality from Ekahau Sidekick and Aronia's RTSA Pro software. I recently found out that the software from Aronia that creates enterprise SDR Spectrum Analyzer tools uh, uh, does have a free software that you can use and you can play back a few recordings that I found on their website. So in this video I'm just going to compare and see if this tool is something us wireless, wireless engineers would need. Uh, seeing that uh, not all of our tools would cut it anymore. So let's just look at Ekahau Sidekick first. This is Ekahau Sidekick that we are pretty used to. Um, this scans 2.4 and 5, as at least as, as Sidekick 1. Sidekick 2 scans 2.4, 5 and 6 gigahertz. It doesn't have any record functionality. You can zoom and zoom out. Uh, you can't save recordings as it doesn't have record functionality and you can't then share recordings or play back recordings. Uh, you can't create different views and you can't uh, see 2.4 and 5 at the same time. That could be a problem with Wi-Fi 7 and multi-link operation where we would see clients using 2.4 and 5 and 6 at the same time. So it would be beneficial to have a software that where you can build your own panels or blocks or views uh, to do your own type of analysis. Oh, and also you can't really connect any external antennas to the Sidekick, but it is fast and it does a great job, but maybe there is something better. So then I'm going to take a look at Aronia's RTSA Pro software. So here we have it, the RTSA Pro from Aronia. Here I'm playing back a recording of a 44 MHz real-time bandwidth reco uh, recording. And I have built uh, my own view to analyze this spectrum. I have uh, used um, the this all these is called a block. I've used a spectrum block and added a profile so I can see the channels from 2.4. I can also see the frequency down here. I have added a histogram and a waterfall and a 3D representation of the live spectrum. As you can see, I have changed a few variables here. For example, if you look at the, just gonna do this. If we look at this waterfall, I've changed so the red should start at negative minus sixty-three. So none of this is even not even remotely possible with the Echo uh, Psychic uh, Spectrum tool, and I've set it to create blue around minus ninety. Then I have uh, added a histogram here, so we can see the percentage of the utilization and this 3D representation. And here I've set the spectrum and I can zoom this up and down and I set it to down neg 85. And this is just, yeah, one view of the tool. But what if I really want to look at even more spectrum? So I can start by showing you how, how the blocks are being built, right? Um, first of all, I've used a block that is called the file reader block. I've added a spectrum sweep. That's uh, how I can change the start and stop frequency for the, for the view. I've added a spectrum block, this one, waterfall block, this one, a histogram, and a waterfall 3D. If I just want to create something new, I can delete this. And let's say I wanted to look at even more spectrum. I'm going to add the wrapped spectrogram block. I'm going to take the sweep here and connect it there. But this is only from 2.4 to 2.5. Let's say I really I'm going to delete everything down here. And I'm going to just add this one there. And let's say I want to look at 2.4 to 7.125 gigahertz. I stop it. I play it. Uh, so now we are looking at the entire spectrum. I just you just need to see my face for this one. <laughs> We're looking at the entire spectrum from 2.4 to 
to 7.125 gigahertz at the same time. And this is insanely cool to be able to do. Just this little block could solve so many issues for us, especially since us wireless engineers not only do Wi-Fi right, we are we are like playing with LTE uh, IoT devices that uses using sub one gigahertz. Uh, so yeah, maybe we want to look look at even more. Now I added from nine kilohertz uh, all down down to seven point one two five gigahertz. So then we will be able to see uh, everything, uh, LTE, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, yeah, a lot. I can see, I think we can add uh, some different things here in the legend. Still now, being able to see so much at the same time. And not only that, let, let's see here, you have, this is just one short little mission. But if you look at all the different blocks we have, uh, all the different R spectrum views, R measurement, trig detection filters, AM and FM demodulators, um, file write, you can save your recordings. Um, yeah, uh, that's it, I think. And But uh, now the big problem is, how expensive are these tools? Well. Aronia uh, will release a cheaper version of their Spectrum V6 soon, called the Spectrum V6 uh, Eco. Uh, the base model with one RX should be 1500 euros. And if you add an upgrade to support up until 8 gigahertz, I think it's 500 euros more. So then you're at 2000 euros. If you want to add uh, something you can add more and more and more to make it more expensive, but just for the really base model that supports up until 8 gigahertz from 9 kilohertz to 8 gigahertz with 500 gigahertz second sweep time, uh, you will pay less than half the price of an Ekao sidekick. But also, you would need to add an antenna, but still less than a sidekick. And you can analyze way more frequencies. You can analyze all the kinds of frequencies that we have not been able to see before as a wireless engineer since we mostly only see 2.4, 5 and maybe 6 if we have that equipment. And this will be really handy to, to be able to analyze new types of interference, new type of um, devices that will be running on our newly opened 6 gigahertz spectrum. Thank you and have a nice day.